ho, ho, ho. Tonight you're tuning in to a special bonus episode of Lukmano Script, an improvised alternative story based on the popes of yesteryear. Tonight's story is a Christmas carol where we follow Ebenezer Scrooge, haunted by ghosts of his present and future and past. Will he survive? That story is happening, but so is this one. Yeah, brother, get up. Get up, it's time. Time for the ghost reckoning. Oh, uh, Conan the Barbarian? Yeah, brother, it's me, and I'm here to help you, Jimmy. You're being haunted tonight by three ghosts, and I'm the very first. I'm in hell. I've decided I'm in hell. No, 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 not yet. Like, that's why I'm here, is to prevent you from going to hell and your eternal damnation Uh. of your soul, brother. God, you're Aaron's character, too. Like, I just really... Oh, yeah. Oh. It's like he's talking to me through... Because he claimed him as the guy... Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. You're cursed. Well, you gotta... Yeah. Cursed mm-hmm. to be with Aaron for a long time, and that's a terrible curse, brother. I... Again, I reiterate, possibly in hell. <laughs> but yeah, get, let's do this whole... Let's do this ghost thing, Conan. I, I'm here. Uh, do, you, do you need my hand? Do I need to... Yeah. Do I need need anything for this journey? I got to take your hand carefully, brother, because I'm very, like, prone to throwing people down and and swinging them around. And so, here, give it to me gently, and then away we will fly. Do it a little faster than you expect. Ah! Slap that. (laughs) Holy (laughs) shit. You weren't kidding. Suplex! You flick, flip me all the way. <laughs> Knock the wind out of oh, me. Oh, sorry, brother. Like I said, oh. you got to be careful. Uh, uh, but I was right. just trying to do a little joke there. But yeah, you, you physically assaulted me. Yeah. So let's. Well, go. you came at me first with that hand, brother. It was you told me to. <laughs> yeah, fine. but you, it came right at my face. It's fine. It's Everybody fine. saw it. Self defense. Show me what you came to show me. All right, Conan. and you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna pick you up. All right, and hold you in my arms, and oh, then this is yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. All right, yeah, you're so strong. I know, and I got a lot of body oil on because I'm a wrestler, but yeah, right. the, the, and you're kind of like the chain ghost. So like you're rattling those chains, but also just like just a nice, you're so such a caress here. I love it. Let's th- go. Thank you, brother. All right, we fly. Wow. All right, and now we're flying into the past, and here we are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're here. <laughs> Look. So what's what what's going on here in, in the past? <laughs> Sorry, coming through that crazy uh, time tunnel, it, it kind of blinds you, so you might not be able to see. But me, I see, be, I see. Being a ghost brother, I can tell you all about what's going on here. Yeah, you have ghost vision. <laughs> yeah. I, I do not have this. Come yeah. On. Uh, so uh, we're here at your your very first school you've ever went to, and look. There's all your friends that you never played with because you were inside, brother. And we go inside to see you sitting at a table, brother. Yeah, I liked blocks, okay? Yeah. Did you not play with blocks? Oh, uh, the only block I played with was my block-headed brother. Bonan, brother! Anyway. Oh, I'm here too, brother. Just hanging out in the past. <laughs> Bonan, do you come out here to hang out? Yeah. Oh, wow. I play with, I play with the blocks. You come with, to Jimmy's uh, past? Yeah, I come to Jimmy's Pass, I hang out at his preschool, and I play blocks. Oh, Got cool. With that. Maybe, I mean, maybe you can show Jimmy around. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just like a, you know, preschool is weird, because it's like, it's basically daycare where sometimes you learn things. Uh, brother, um, I don't know, what, Conan, what did you bring Jimmy here? There's just blocks and children around here. I don't, brother. Well, I was showing him about how uh, when... You don't interact with your friends, and then you get super, like, mad at Christmas, and you say, stupid old Christmas. Uh, you you kind of get, you throw out the Christmas spirit, and you become hard. I see. Okay, yeah. I never, there was a period of my I, my childhood where I just straight up 
it wasn't that I didn't believe in Santa. I just was kind of like not. I don't think I ever really was like, this guy's real. He's a real dude. He does all this stuff. Like I don't, I don't think that 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 thought went through my child brain. I so mean, maybe that is this that is that, this that that does make sense. We are watching your your teacher actually. He dressed up as Santa Claus, and here he comes through the front door. And look, it's your teacher from back then. Oh crap! It it looks sort of like my teacher, but also it looks not at all like my teacher. It, it looks like another one of our horrifying creations. Oh, is I wouldn't a, know anything about that, brother. <laughs> definitely, is definitely. It head, is it the headless horseman? For, for, oh no! And it's not the headless horseman. It's it's the other guy from the headless horseman story, who's a, just a. It, it, Oh, uh, Ichabod, Ichabod Crane? Crane? No, I definitely not. Yeah, no, it is, though. Hey, I'm a teacher. Ho, ho, ho. Look at me. Uh, I came in with a pumpkin, but, you know, it's uh, it's not actually a pumpkin. It's a gourd. But it's Christmas. You got to have the Christmas spirit, young Jimmy. That's what Christmas is all about. Oh my god, oh my god, all, all the other students come around, look, Santa's here, Jimmy, look, Santa's here. See, but this is the point where my teacher, who was not Ichabod Crane, like, gave me a gourd and then told all the kids to, like, make fun of me, essentially. He didn't, like, tell them to make fun of me, but look, it's happening, like, they're doing the... Gordy, 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 yeah, fuck, fuck that guy. What? That's so traumatizing. That's awful. But don't you, didn't you get the Christmas spirit about giving somebody else a gourd and how giving is good? You didn't get that from that story, brother? Yeah, it twisted my brain. I thought Christmas was like gourd giving day. So that messed up a couple years of my life. Thanks for showing me this, Conan. Love it. Okay, well, um, uh, here, let me, else? let me pick you up again. And uh, oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, so okay, nice. we're going to. Fly over this next memory, uh, which is uh, we're here at your old work where you used to work. And oh, uh, fuck. Look, it's the Christmas party. Old Fozzywig is giving the Christmas party. <laughs> oh my god. You know, this isn't a Christmas party. This is just retail being open on Christmas. <laughs> this is a, <laughs> this is a, a, a horrible time. They're banging on the doors outside, like, why are you 24 hours? No, it's not look, a party. Look, look, brother, all your <laughs> friends are coming to see you here at work. And they're looking. Yeah, it's like a, they like brought a zombie their list. Horde outside. Yeah, it's horrible. And, it's a sight to see. Yeah. I love it. And you have your district manager, Fozzie Wig, who's giving you orders. And then you have your assistant manager, Mike, that short, bald guy, who's also Who giving fuck you is orders. Fozzie Wig. What the hell? I what? recognize Mike. That's just Mike. That is literally just Mike. Well, he's yeah. Just Mike. He's right there. But look, That's Fozzie crazy. Wig. Here <laughs> that he is. Guy, I, that guy I hate. I don't know who it is. But <laughs> it it's me. Of... It's me, Fozzie Wig. What's up, Mike? What's up, Jimmy? We're here for Christmas That's party. Not... That's not Fozzie Wig. That's Tarzan, you idiot. Because he's, uh, he's, got, he's, got, he's literally holding two pies. That's Tarzan. Ho, ho, ho. Hey. So, uh, Jimmy, I'm going to need you to um, uh, move those things that you moved up here last week back to the back where you had them last week. Because that's retail, baby. I just give a knowing look to Mike. <laughs> Mike was cool. That's, <laughs> this is the coolest part of this memory is, like, actually seeing Mike. Yeah. That's crazy. <clears throat> that's what Christmas is all about, brother. That's actually, you know, I'm yeah. feeling it a little bit. I, I feel a little better about this whole situation here, Conan. You got anything else for me? Uh, yeah. Well, we got like one more, but it was about a heartbreak, and you're you were kind of like on a low on that first memory, and then you're on a high on this one. So I'm gonna leave you on a good note, and, and then we're gonna go. Uh, I oh, I'm disappearing, brother. Here I go. Bye. Oh. Christmas oh, presents no. coming later. Uh, bye. Oh, thanks, Conan. I'm excited for those. They'll probably be like skulls and candles and stuff. Very cool, but uh, not really my style. Uh, what's up, dude? It is time for Christmas. Christmas Day, it's today. Did I say cool and summon cool? You did. You the, were going to get somebody exile. else, but I heard my name, and uh, it's cool. Fresh, fresh in your mind. 
<laughs> There's so it, many other I know. better characters you could have been. It's not because uh, I can't really remember some of their voices, but it's something... It cool, it's cool, man. Cool. It's true. I I mean, if I would want to hang out with someone on Christmas, it'd probably be cool. He'd just, like, you know, smoke a bowl and just d- pass d- out. Well, I don't smoke because I'm underwater. Hugs, not drugs. I get yeah, you. Yeah, I'm also you. underage. I'm not 21. Uh, okay. Also, that's you, a first. You also could have ended up with tuberculosis, Jones. Just so you know, I Go. do declare. Did somebody say my Get out! No, 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 no. <laughs> I push tuberculosis, Jones, out of a window. He gets it twice. He gets it twice. You know what? That was pretty cool, man. I agree. Cool. Yeah. Do we have a cool secret handshake? I feel. Oh, like we yeah, might. we do. It's kind of like. Yep, that's it, brother. Oh. <laughs> I picked that up from that other guy. Did you hear him use the word brother? Oh, I loved that. Yeah. Conan's pretty cool. Yeah. And his brother, oh, Bonin. Dude. They're both yeah. pretty cool. All right. Anyway, so I got I to gotta, like take you out and take you around town. Uh, we are going to go out and just experience Christmas Day. That's what Christmas okay. is all about, is experiencing all right, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, dude, this is 1886. We have a completely oh, different plague. We should wear way more masks of... <laughs> Of the hook beak variety. <laughs> no, no, no. Just wrap this blanket around your head. It's totally fine. I found these blankets no, in a no. pile. No, no. Hey, I know what you're doing there. There's an Assassin's Creed mission where, like, you're supposed to poison Dude, smallpox wait. blankets or something. Did, did you learn a whole bunch of history from video games instead of the public school system? Yeah, I learned all my mythology from Age of Mythology. I learned all my, like, Middle Eastern history from the Assassin's Creed series. So I basically know nothing, and it doesn't apply at all. It's all wrong. Hey, so. dude, it's better than my freaking uh, English Ocean degree, which I'm, I may or may not be kicked out of school, but hey, I'm still qualified to be yeah. a ghost. I feel like it would the thing that would happen with you, Cool, is you'd come to the surface and try and like tell poetry or something, but your weird gills or however you exist underwater would just like seize up and you'd be like, well, can't speak English. I guess I'm cursed like the little mermaid or something, you know? Well, you know how like different words mean different things in different languages. Like we have this word English for what we speak. Mm. It is not though. I learned that out. I see. It's like common. It's like you would call it common tongue, but it's not common tongue to us eartheners. No, it's Inuit. Anyway. Uh, oh, well, some people do speak that. So. Yeah. No, I had to go find those dudes. They were pretty chill. It's pretty cold. Yeah. Right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so, okay, I'm going to take you over to uh, Bob Cratchit's house. And, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, Very specific <laughs> name. Uh-huh. Yeah. It says right here in the script, take you to Bob Cratchit's house. Oh. Yeah, I went off script before and totally almost got fired. Not cool. Yeah. Not cool to do in an improv show is go off script. No. Nope. They hate it when you do that. <laughs> they do. They anyway, super hate it. Gotta take you to your employee. Or improv dream. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bob Cratchit. That's yeah. fine. He works for he you, man. He works for me. He does the books. Got it. Yeah. You okay. Run. This is going to get too meta in three seconds. It's Aaron. <laughs> Dude, you work for dude me what now. am I doing here? Dude, how did you get here? This is insanity. I woke up and there was a bag over my head. I Do think... you think your name is Bob Cratchit? I think you tell just... me to say I'm Bob Cratchit. Okay. You're I'm not. not. No. We <laughs> are actually in like an old timey town though. They set Do this I look up? like Scrooge? Like Did... I just look like me and you look like you. Yeah. Did Oh well they tried to dress me, but that didn't go well. Did they did they pay for this or did we pay for this? Because I am not like paying for this. You do buckled shoe on. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't even buckle my hat. Yeah. No buckled hat. No. I, I don't have it. I'm not even in like the nightgown or like hat or anything. You just are just like straight PJs. up naked. <laughs> yeah. Well, true. Yes. It's very cold. I am going to come inside. And we did not pay for any of this. And I don't know how any of this is happening. I don't know all. either. Yeah, but, oh, dude, they just, they said, hey, you're Bob Cratchit. Your wife is here, and that's uh, Miss Piggy Cratchit. But and this was like Conan but, and like a bunch of other people just telling you that these were f- true facts. Yeah, they said they had to like save your soul for some reason. I don't know what's up. Oh God, but, dude. Well, why, why did they give me D 
DJ Thor as, as my wife. That's where that the dubstep music is coming from, just ominously in the background. It, it is Christmas dubstep, which I, I'm kind of digging on, but, oh, dude, it's... It's surprisingly good. It's surprisingly for Christmas dubstep. Like, that niche genre. Yeah. Crazy. Um, yeah, well, we should probably leave. I think I blacked out. I think I'm dying. Can you find? Can I speak to you in a dream and you find me in reality? Does and this save mean my I'm life? also blacked out and dying, or am I just a you, figment of your you imagination? Know, we're in two different places, and we might be dead. So we should live it up. And oh, I honey, go and I come run over to these sweet beats that I put down with DJ Pitbull. I I find a big turkey on your your table and i go to the top story of your house and i go it's christmas everybody (laughs) merry christmas i've had a change of heart and all these creepy ghosts and stuff have really made me question my own reality but here we are oh brother he he did it he figured out the spirit of christmas brother i did it you scrooged me conan thanks you really did it. Oh. His name's Scrooge, right? I'm yeah. not thinking of like Scrooge McDuck. Ebenezer Scrooge. That's you. Ebenezer. Yeah. Fucking A. It's not me, and it wasn't anyone, Conan. Thanks for giving us a Christmas episode, though, right? Conan, who is he talking to right now? I'm out of the dream now. I'm in reality, and I'm speaking I'm still in the to dream. You. The, the audience. Help! I can't, I, I can't say there and now. He's stuck in the dream Help! forever. Ah, you it's pretty DJ spooky. Doris. He's going to be stuck there until we record again. He's just in the ether. Help! That's pretty terrifying. That, Merry that's, Christmas! I hope people don't think that he's actually in danger in his house where he's yelling help. <laughs> I'm trapped in a dream! <laughs> If I was in my house in a, a place that wasn't a dream, I'd be totally safe. Don't worry. But we'll find out next episode to see if someone called the cops on Aaron to double check on his health and welfare. And uh, we'll see you next next week. Next time there's an episode for more Pulp Adventures. And maybe not this again. This probably won't happen again. Conan, help me. Bye. 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 <laughs>